Welcome, this is Grammy Queen, and if you're joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we get excited about love. This is where we ignite that which dwells within us, that which comes alive, makes us laugh, makes us smile. Hence, we say the crimson light is life. So the crimson light is our journey to actualize in soulful love. This is the journey where we have fun with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. Okay, and on this journey now, we are having sessions of what we call features to actualize in soulful love. Basically, we are really considering our physical features. We are at like kindergarten stage right now. We are wanting to know what it is or what it means to be made in God's image and likeness. Of course, we want to be able to recognize ourselves as God's children. That's what we learn. God created us. But we want to be able to know what that means to us, to have a clear understanding. Because some people have this idea or notion, um, or we have been taught, we are sinners and we are far from God. And it meant that Christ had to die for us, to redeem us from that sin, to bring us nearer to God. So an equation have just come to mind as I'm saying this, that if God is eight, which we have seen G-O-D comes to eight, and we have here parts of our features that actually equals eight. Doesn't that mean something to us? Isn't that really saying, for instance, we hear the eyes of the windows of the soul? Yes. And one eye equals eight. And I'm thinking that's the third eye. But the letter, or sorry, the word I equals eight. And eight is the symbol of infinity that is within us. It's right in our faces. So when we are communicating with one another, like our W, like I've said in previous presentations, when we are listening to a person, or like you're watching me, you're actually in tune with your W in that moment. Whatever it is that you are um, capturing or um, really um, in connection with in that moment is your W. Yes. <laughs> Okay, well, these are the messages that come through and they really... Um, feel right and you know um so you is free and to and we even have a um equation to this as well so free equals um you equals free and we have another free that would be 33 oh let's get a pen that really writes well because this is so delicious of course why would we want to miss this so when we say about w so this is one U equals three, and another U equals three. Three and three is six. Six days of creation, the number of love. Um, six, we also learn that six um, equals A, E-A-R. Now, E-A-R is um, also, as is seven, but E-A-R, it's also the the um, word that is uttered in Christ's teaching, ye who have ears to hear, let him hear. In fact, I think that is also in um, Ezekiel, um, which I have been reading lately. And um, so it had been teachings that had been said before. And so it's still passed on to us. So I'm thinking that there is a message that we have to pay specific attention to those messages. When something is repeated over and over, it's like there is an emphasis to whatever is being conveyed that we should unravel that message. We should investigate it, you know. And hey, so we see that in the Psalms, for instance, a lot of these messages, a lot of those dreams, a lot of um, the um, teachings in the Bible are made reference to parts of our bodies, like God, when we, um, in my favorite Psalm of number eight, and when I um, 
Behold, um, when I see the works of your hands, the moon and stars, the works of hands, my hands actually or hand actually equals eight. And so we see that there are um, strong correlation with the creation being reflected in us. I think that is delicious, really delicious. And so God has left his signature on all of us and to say, that is my creation. You are my work. You are me and I am, because the word me, we use that as well. M-E, that equals nine. The letter I, when we refer to ourselves as an individual, that equals nine. And we see, of course, this word sacrifice of nine letters. That is nine. You, and, of course, we have to do um, the crucifixion because I'm believing that that also equals nine, or crucifix, at least. Um, feet equals nine. And we see um, nail equals nine. I am going to do um, presentations on this as well. Okay, so there we go with... Um, so this is what I want to do. How am I keeping this uh, minimal when I do go on? <laughs> anyway, so we are putting um, in correspondence with these that we have learned here. We are looking at the um, sensory modalities of um, skin, nose, eyes, ears, and mouth, and to see what numbers derive from those. Okay. So we are 33. We are Genesis. Okay, the genes. Okay, so touch. So, um, of course, because of space, I'll just call out um, the numerical values for each letter. This is eight, this is three, and three, and six, and two. So, there I add. So, here we are going. Um, and I may go like this because it's easier on my eyes. So, I would say that is 10, that is 16, that is 19, 20, 21, 22 for touch. 22 is touch. Now, that's interesting because we've had 22 showing up as master. Master. 22 shows up as, um, of course, if it equals um, 2 and 2, 4, it equals father, it equals west, it, the west, um, it equals the south as well. No, not the south, just the west. And so 22 has showed up in, a lot in our presentations. But let's carry on. So S M E L L that would be one five no one four five three three. So let's do this. So three three is six, six and and five is eleven, eleven and four is fifteen, and one is sixteen. So this is sixteen equals seven. So smell is seven. And so we have the nose, the nose is um eight. But the smell, so it's it, it comes down. It this is where it takes that shape. It's like not extending to nine, but it's coming into seven. Okay, sight. So S I G H T. We have one nine seven eight two. So there we go. That is ten. That is seventeen. Seventeen and nine. That is twenty six. I believe twenty and one twenty seven. Let's do that again. 10 and 7, 17. 17 and 17 and 9. It's and it's 16, that's 26. Okay. And 1, 27. That is 27. So that is, oops. Okay, 7. That equals 9. 27 equals 9. All right. So we'll see how the, the, those correspond. Yeah. And then we have um, hair, hair, um, to hair. Or, or should I be doing auditory or should I do hair? Um, to smell, to hair. Okay, let's stick to hair. Um, but I was wondering whether there I was with it between auditory and hair. Okay, so um, 10 and 8, 18, 19, 20, that would be 23. 23 okay so that would be five it'd be interesting to do auditory and see how that happens okay but let's do taste first um and just to confirm this 
So that's 10 and um, 15, that would be 23, that's correct. So I like to double check because um, it, it does help to double check the figures because I may be making um, sense on a lot of things and then there's a discrepancy which I can put right after recording. <laughs> okay, so then, so that's seven, five and two, seven and one, eight, eight and one, nine, nine and two, that's 11. Oh, interesting, 11, so this is two. So the master number here, the only master number we got was on taste. Now well, that's interesting, on taste. Um, so we know about um, with the sacrifice, it was said that um, Christ was given vinegar to taste. Okay, if that is, and of course, there would have been that tactile interaction of touch. Um, touch would be 22, but 22. Now I'm wondering whether all these would be expression of what that sacrifice really meant. So we knew that the word Jesus had all already with Jesus equally in 11, J-E-S-U-S. -S. I've done this before, so Jesus equals 11. We, this is one five one three one. So that's four five and five and five ten and one eleven. So we know that with um and then as I have been going on about it seemed like the sacrifice was a graduation of the twenty two, the twenty two mastership program that Christ was on. That would have been the certificate of um. The, his purpose, his course on earth. That would be the completion. So 22 is really an expression of um, really learning, really um, graduating, as I say, graduating. That would be the completion there. And so 11 that the Jesus had already, which is what a lot of us, like we say, we are 11. I have showed this as well. We are 11. And with 22, that would be 33. And it would, isn't that also adding to the 33 that Christ, um, at the age of 33, Christ died? And isn't that also showing the Genesis equa equation of 33 that we have um, just explored. So Genesis also equals 33. So in 33, and again, we have the 33 vertebras in our um, our spinal column. So we have those um, 33. It's as if there's that stamp, that demarcation of a mission being completed. So let's... Um, Okay, this is on, just checking the time on this now. So let's come back to this on, um, on another session because we want to do these bite sizes. And just to take a little break with this and see how we can um, marry these elements of the sensory uh, modalities and the um, names of each. Okay. So I hope you have found this insightful. If you like this presentation, click the like button and share because this is how we do it. We share to actualize in selfful love. In the meantime, stay blessed, stay bright, and be ignited.